right so here i have a 60 year old patient who is having trouble breathing so we as a team decided to intubate the patient i generally go about by personally filling up my syringes with the medication that i will be giving her so this is a neuroparalytic agent which within about couple of minutes can completely paralyze a full-fledged adult so i loaded that <clears throat> the next drug that i'm loading is something to knock the patient off and should not feel anything should not remember anything it is uh, quite powerful and uh, has limited usage so these are the two drugs now you can see the vitals on the monitor they're quite bad in this patient and multiple uh, iv medications going in trying to keep the patient's blood pressure up she is suffering with a cardiac problem as well as a lung disorder so now i will cross check my equipment that is the laryngoscope and my tube i will give my pre medication something to knock the patient off and then check my other equipment such as the mask that i will use once the patient is paralyzed and wait for the paralysis to set in or should the tube not go in i may have to fall back upon this mask and rely on it till the patient's paralysis goes down and the patient can breathe once again so it's imperative to yes. check your equipment before you okay. paralyze a patient now i am giving the neuroparalytic agent 100 milligrams now waiting for the paralysis to set in generally this kind of a paralytic moves from the upper body to the lower when you see the movement in the feet you know it's set in now i am pushing in my laryngoscope here trying to visualize the vocal cords now in this patient um, the vocal cords were quite high and it was rather a difficult kind of an intubation not the regular one definitely not something that uh, you know you'd see in the operation theater it's quite difficult also because the bed was quite low the icu setting the beds no 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 so in this scenario it was quite low and i'm tall so i had to bend the bougie that uh, thing that you see in my hand right now is called as a bougie eight minutes it's quite thin and uh, it's easier to pass that so once that goes through the vocal cords i can run the tube over it I can rail railroad the tube over it so that's the idea now I successfully pushed it through. No. Push, My push, assistant push. is uh, push. railroading it over the bougie. Once you see the tip on the top, you hold it and push it down. And once the tube goes through the vocal cords, right. pull it you're ready to pull out the bougie and connect the tube to uh, the ventilator or eight, eight. whatever you have. Now it's very important to not push the tube too far in because it has a tendency to go into the right bronchus, the right lung rather. That's the normal anatomy of the lung. A tube has a propensity to go into the right, so it's always important to check the left. Very important to check the left. So once Did you see the air entry is equal, you are most likely at the sweet spot. Now, I'm cross-checking with a bag for mist in the tube and also the recoil. I asked for a Baines circuit because uh, the bag wasn't 
uh, working quite well and also the ventilator ran into some problems so so i asked my assistant to bag until i go and check on the ventilator because there was something wrong with it and when i got there i realized the tile volume was way way high terribly high i don't know what happened to that so fortunately it's built in with uh, ai it wouldn't push so much there you go it works brilliantly okay and the vitals totally fine 100% so we have done the job you can see the chest movement up and down that's one of the sign and another one is the mist in the tube two good signs and if you have a capnograph capnography instrument okay. you'd understand if you see a spike in that of carbon dioxide you know it's coming from Problem. the lungs it cannot come from the stomach i hope you like this video bye bye one thing